Hello everybody, this is Leia, and happy birthday to everyone with Sun in Leo. It's August now, and for the week of the 4th through the 10th, our decks for our daily readings are, believe it or not, a traditional tarot deck, the Radiant Rider Weight, which is on the left, and Doreen Virtue's Magical Mermaids and Dolphin's Oracle cards. I tend to stay away from traditional tarot decks because I like using cards with artwork, that speaks to me more. But you know what? I felt guided to use the Rider Waite this week, so here it is. Besides, these cards, in my experience, deliver messages even more clearly than some of the decks that are prettier to look at. Now, the cards have been shuffled and picked from random spots in the decks with the intention that we receive helpful and uplifting messages. We have one card per deck per day, so if you're ready, let's see what Spirit's message for the day is. Hey there, and welcome to our reading for August 8th, Friday. Our cards for the day are number 10 from the Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, and time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Some weeks, I noticed, the daily messages may not appear to have a very clearly unified theme in the context of the entire week. Like, sure, there's a common thread, more or less, if you really look for it. But this time, for every single day so far, we've seen our cards guiding us to make huge changes. The Tower card for Monday is even a straight-up indication that if we don't leave behind what's no longer good for us, the universe will do it for us by causing a shake-up where we have no choice but to move forward simply because it's the natural way of things. It's not a punishment in any way. The Wheel of Fortune card is a reminder that life is a cycle. Change is constant. It's the natural order of things. If you're alive, you are energy in motion. The reason things appear to be the same for a certain period of time is because they keep flowing in the same direction or we keep making the same decisions. But the fact remains that motion is involved regardless. Life isn't stagnant and sometimes we just get to the point where we're done with a cycle. We come to the end of a chapter. It might be scary to move on, but how are we going to enjoy what's next if we don't follow the natural flow? Being resistant to change keeps us stuck. If we think we can keep reliving the same moments over and over again, getting the same happy results we used to, we're only fooling ourselves because the energy has moved on. It's time for the next chapter or maybe even the next book in the series. Wouldn't we want to find out what new and exciting events, people and adventures await us on the other side? Those from the past who are meant to be there will still be there. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you liked it, do share it with anyone you think will benefit from it as well. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, so you stay up to date on future uploads. Take care, enjoy your day, I'll speak to you again soon. Namaste. Mm -hmm.